West Michigan, a renewed fight over water. The state just approved a new permit that would nearly double the amount that one global company is allowed to bottle and sell each year. Meanwhile, some residents say their water levels are dropping uh, like never or as like never before. Stephanie Gosk takes a look from ever. Nestle has been bottling spring water outside of Grand Rapids for almost 20 years. Today, the company pumps nearly 360,000 gallons a day from this one well in the town of Everett. And now the state of Michigan approved a new permit that would allow them to nearly double it. And people here got angry. They are taking the water that should not be owned by anybody. Water is essential to life. Nobody can own it. The cost of the permit, just $200 a year. When you applied for that permit, were you surprised by the public reaction to it? You know, people are, are very emotional. Water is a very emotional issue. It was only a few years ago that the entire city of Flint was exposed to lead contaminated water. So it's not surprising that there were more than 80,000 comments about this new Nestle deal, with just 75 in favor. Nestle says their studies show there has been no damage to water levels here since the company started pumping. Nestle Waters has invested in its operations here uh, to preserve the ecosystems, to operate sustainably. Our business depends on it. Michigan's Department of Environmental Quality approved the permit request. It's unprecedented, the level of analysis that went into this permit. But that's the same agency that told the people of Flint their water was safe and few trust what they have to say. You're seeing the change right out your window. Oh gosh, very much so. This house has been in Marianne Borden's family since she was a child. She says she sees the water levels dropping. You know, I used to be able to stand up here and hear that creek run, and I don't hear that anymore. The residents of Everett we spoke with say support for their fight against Nestle comes from across the state. Do people in Michigan care more about their water now? than they did before that. How could you help but not, you know, with everything that's happened? It's like Nestle says, water is an emotional issue, especially now, especially in Michigan.